850 likes was the target in yesterday's episode. And you lovely people achieved it. So thank you all so much for your incredible support as always. Hello everyone, what's going on? And welcome back to our My Player Career Mode. I hope you are all feeling fantastic, having an awesome day, and we are back for a brand new episode. Like target today, we are going to try and go for 900 likes to get yourself another episode tomorrow. If you did miss yesterday's video, go back, check it out, because there was an incredible game against Manchester City. I'm about to spoil the results, so if you've not yet seen it, go back, check that episode out, come back to this one. But here is how we got on in the last video. A 4-1 victory over City, a 2-1 win over Wolves, and a 3-0 win against Watford. Three wins out of three, and we are now just a single point behind Manchester City in the Premier League table. Fiorentina is the first game of the day in the Champions League, then it'll be Brentford at home, followed by Newcastle away. I want to say as well, I am getting a cold at the moment, so if I sound a bit different, that will be the reason why. Nevertheless, I hope that doesn't affect the commentary in today's episode, and uh, we will take a quick look at the table then, just to remind you of how things are in the Champions League. We are second, joint on points with Fiorentina, three behind Real Madrid, who take on Michelin in their game whilst we play Fiorentina. The Premier League, as I mentioned, just a single point behind Manchester City on 24. We are also the only unbeaten side in the Premier League at this moment in time after 10 matches have been played. There's nothing else to show you, so we will jump straight into the first game of the day up against Fiorentina. And here is the two lineups for you. Their team on the right, ours on the left. A 1-1 draw last time we played them in a game that I felt... We actually were the better side and deserved the win. We missed a penalty in the game as well, hitting both posts. Let's not do that again here today. Curtis Jones for Liverpool. We are 15 minutes in. Both sides looking for the win that will allow them to take sole control of second in the group. The ball over the top was not intended for Salah. I was looking for Alexander-Arnold, but I got the pass wrong. And that, in the end, stops the Liverpool attack for the moment. Here is Alexander-Arnold. Forward to Salah once more. Chouameni. Now for Binho. We now are looking a bit better on the ball because in the early stages, we've given it away a couple of times by making mistakes, really. Diaz, Jones, looking to help it on. Not quite work. Jones goes for the shot. Muller will save. First action for the Fiorentina goalkeeper. We'll hold on to the ball for the moment. I was waiting for an overlap from Dest that never came. Salah, Chouameni, brilliant. Alexander-Arnold finishes. And that's the quality that Liverpool have got. Lovely move. And Trent Alexander-Arnold so composed with the finish into the bottom corner. And here's the finish again from Trent Alexander-Arnold. Beautifully done. Wasn't the greatest camera angle in the world, but Klopp is happy with it. It was really nicely worked from Liverpool as well. And with four minutes to go until the break, Liverpool have the breakthrough. Salah, if he can get the ball through, we might be in the touch to take us away. It's 2-0 Liverpool in a matter of minutes. We have taken full control of this tie. And this is much better from Liverpool than what we saw in Italy. I was about to say it was the same story in Italy. We took the lead, missed the penalty. They scored late on to equalise. Well, now they need two Fiorentina to bring this game back. And in a matter of, what, three minutes between the two goals? It's gone from 0-0 to 2-0 Liverpool. Good work from Chiumeni here. Now he will find that pass. Salah is there to my right. Mohamed Salah to take us down the right-hand side. Pulling it back for Chiumeni. Chiumeni will find my feet once more. We look to turn away. Play Diaz. Diaz, this is nice football, but will there be a finish? Diaz into my feet. Right foot. Liverpool are cruising at Anfield. This is brilliant stuff from the boys. And look at the celebration as well. We mean business. In this Champions League, we are looking to send us through to the knockout rounds. And I'm hoping that Villarreal will get there as well because I would love a fixture against them. That would be some story, wouldn't it? They are playing in Group B. Not sure how it's going for them. For us, we are taking sole control of second in the group. Looking to go even further and beat Real in the next game and take top. 
Jota, space. Alexander Arnold now closes him down to Ram. Nunez, shot in from Fabio Silva. Easy for Alisson. And that really is the only sight of goal Fiorentina have had throughout the second half. They have not been good here in this one. But Liverpool, you've got to give them credit. They have been class throughout the game here at Anfield. We have been class now for a number of matches. Chiumeni's ball forwards. Finds me. Off to Diaz. Space to work with. Luis Diaz, what can he do? Ball across. It's out for a corner. Rafinha on for Salah. And his first contribution will be to take the Liverpool corner. Into Chiumeni. Saved by Muller. Not only saved, but then he reacts quick to get onto the loose ball to prevent Liverpool from having another chance. That is good goalkeeping from Muller. Jones, Rafinha into my feet. The run from Dest. Here is Dest across towards Curtis Jones. Dest should have gone for goal. He should have gone for goal. Take the shot. Get the fourth for Liverpool. He wanted to be selfless though. As Gelhart is on for Chiuameni. And the corner into the near post is away. Urien Timber though has it back for Liverpool. Eight minutes to go. We want goal number four. Jones with a strike from distance. Muller saves. We react quickest to get onto the loose ball though. Looking to lift it back in towards Jones. Another fine piece of goalkeeping from Muller. He's had a good game here. He might have conceded three. But without him, this would have been worse for Fiorentina, the scoreline. Good left-handed save. And now then, corner ball. Gelhart delivers. Away by Williams. It'll be picked back up though. And every time they get the ball away here, Fiorentina, it comes straight back at them. Gelhart's ball in. I tried to bring it under control and then immediately spin and shoot. It worked, but it wasn't the best effort in the world. And that's why, again, Muller has produced the save for Fiorentina. And there you have it, my friends. Full time from Anfield. It's Liverpool 3, Fiorentina 0. A brace for us in the game. And that takes us into second in the group. Very happy with that performance there. And so are the rest of the Liverpool lads. Before we take on Brentford in the Premier League, let's have a look at the top scorers for the Prem. We are top with 11 goals in 10 games. Calo Miendo second with 10 in 11. And then Harry Kane with 9 in 10 for Manchester United. In terms of assists, Werner is top of the assists with 6 in 9 games. Chiuameni and Jones for Liverpool both on 6 as well. So you could say joint top if you will. I'm in there on 4. And yeah, we're doing quite well in the top scorers at the moment. We'll see if we're able to get the golden boot come the end of the season. Brentford, 11 points. Not sure where they stand in the table, but if we're looking at this game, we've just got to win it because the pressure, we have to keep it on City, who are still just one point ahead of us. There's the two lineups, and into game we go. Brentford, not always the easiest side to play against. On their day, they're a very tough side to beat. Here is Keen Lewis Potter. Now finds Taylor. Paulista gets it back for Liverpool. Fabinho with the ball forwards. An early goal, though. Maybe that will make Brentford have to think about the way they play here at Anfield as that's a foul ref. Chiuameni's ball forward finds Salah who picks out Diaz. And Diaz tests the palms of Cox early on. And Martin Darum will pick up an early yellow card here for that challenge on us. So the skipper already booked inside six minutes. That's going to be a long game for him to see out without picking up another yellow. Corner ball in, Mavropanos away. Carlista under this header. Powerful from him as well. Here is Salah. Now Jones, Salah again, looking to place it! Oh, Mo Salah with a moment of Mo magic. And it's absolutely sublime as Liverpool take the lead. Look at this outside of the left boot from Salah. It's not completely in the top corner, but it's in the goal anyway. And that is the early goal for Liverpool as they look to take this game and take control of it. Chiuameni against Lewis Potter. Lewis Potter forced backwards now. Good work from Chiuameni to prevent Brentford from playing forwards. But they will still be able to do it here. And Darun's ball out wide will find Lewis Potter. Alexander Arnold not close enough to him to make the challenge. Lewis Potter to Origi! Who nearly finds a way through at the near post. Allison is not happy with his defence. That was too easy for Brentford to find the chance. And Dibok Origi against his former club. Nearly finding a goal. Brentford are putting on a bit of a press, but Liverpool are not playing that well when we've got the ball to keep hold of it. So, lost a little bit of composure here. That's good defending by Timber. And I think, unfortunately for Liverpool, the ball bounced off the floor. 
and hit Timber on his hand. So, being given as a free kick and Taylor is standing over this. We've seen a bit of Mo magic. Are we about to see a bit of Brentford magic? Will it be Taylor or Atal? It's Taylor and he's hit the woodwork. And since the opening goal of the game, Brentford are very much looking to get themselves back on level terms. Liverpool not in control of this one. And that second goal is going to be crucial for us. Chuameni, what a ball it is. And we're we'll to have to take this nice and early. It's blocked. Falls for Jones. Now Diaz. Jones! Liverpool 2, Brentford 0. There's the goal. Right on cue. My initial shot was blocked. Chuameni's ball was absolutely brilliant. But the problem was, when I controlled it, I could see the space was quickly closing. You can see there, I had to try and shoot early. Fortunately for us, the ball bounces the way of Jones. 1-2 with Diaz. And then he just picks out the back of the net. Doesn't hit it with much power. Side foots it into the back of Brentford's goal. That's lovely play from Brentford as they've played their way out of defence. And here's Origi. Wrong side of Timber. Origi into the area. And he looked to go near post once more. And Allison again is denied him. Not be my best first half of football here, that has to be said. But we are quickly approaching the half-time whistle. Chiuameni's corner! Fabinho gets there. And that is half-time. Liverpool 2, Brentford 0. Brentford, if they get a goal back, are still very much in the game. Liverpool are struggling here to stop the attack of Brentford. And Origi will get his goal that he's been craving. He's had two chances before this. Alisson saved them both. This is unstoppable from Divock Origi. And the way the game is going, I wouldn't be shocked to see Brentford draw level very soon. Composure is just not there from Liverpool. And defensively, we don't seem to have an answer. We've been penned into our own half in this second half thus far. I do feel there will be one more chance in the game for Brentford and is this to be it? Atal, lovely ball through and there is that chance! Brentford draw level and it is the least they've deserved. Liverpool have been awful. Abysmal here today. I've had the worst performance I've had in a Liverpool shirt thus far. Oh, it's not been a good display whatsoever. And after the hypes of the last few performances, we just had to try and grind out a result that is not going our way at the moment. And that's the end of my game as well. Gelhart is on for me. Five minutes remains from 2-0 up to 2-2. Liverpool have thrown this one away, but full credit to Brentford, who in this second half have been absolutely brilliant. As Liverpool will still try and fight to the end to pick up the victory. I've said it many times on the channel. The title winning sides grind out a result even when they've not played well. And Rafinha, right-hand side. Here is Alexander-Arnold joining the attack from right back into the area. Wanted too much time that he wasn't going to get. Brentford stop it. But that's dangerous from them. Who now are beginning to make a few mistakes. Two additional minutes for Liverpool to find this goal. Not really sure what's going on with City either. So we don't know what's happening in that game. Here's Alberto. Now to Rafinha. Rafinha, what a challenge from Mavropanos. And that will be that, my friends. From Anfield, it's finished Liverpool 2, Brentford 2. Went ahead and simmed the two international friendlies with England. A 2-1 win and a 1-0 win. But now it's back to the Premier League as we take on Newcastle. And if we take a quick look and see what happened, fortunately for us, Manchester City also slip up. When we drew 2-2 with Brentford, they drew 2-2 with Everton. So it's as we were. Yeah. Slightly lucky there, but we shall take it. Now, Newcastle, they're on 13 points. I did say when we looked at where they were in the last episode, I was quite shocked to see them as low down in the table as they are. They'll still be a good side, and I imagine they've got some quality players. So we still have to be at our best, and we certainly weren't against Brentford. There's the lineup. So we'll see what happens here. We need a performance better than what we saw at Anfield last time out. Ball into the box. Timber will head it away, but Newcastle with a the pressure. They've obviously seen what Brentford did in the last game and are immediately trying to put us under pressure, which is working. It's a corner ball, Newcastle, following an Allison save. Ten minutes in. Do not let them get the opening goal here. That's a great header 
And a strong right or left hand, I'm not sure which, saved it for Alisson. But the important factor was that it was saved. Isaac, ball forward to Anderson. Alisson saves. What is going on with Liverpool, though? For the moment, we can't worry about City. We need to worry about ourselves because this performance here against Newcastle has not been good. What a run this is. Back post for Diaz. And it's ended up going into the Newcastle's goal, I think, from Mauro Jr. I tell you what, when your luck is in, your luck is in because this has been a dire performance from Liverpool who look beaten after that Brentford draw. We just don't look like we have been doing in previous games. Mauro Jr. is unlucky because if he doesn't get there, Diaz will. And it almost hits his shin and travels past Newcastle's goalkeeper into the back of their net. Diaz, Salah, Salah into my feet. The space as well opens up. We look to place it. Costa with a save. Diaz will get it back. Jones, Salah again. Anderson blocking this time. Only finding the fear for Fabinho. Salah's in. Straight at Costa. I tell you what. If that's the goal that wins us the game, we won't care. But those two chances there were an opportunity for us to see out the victory. And Newcastle coming forward now. 13 minutes from time. Bonsu right side. Nobody closing him down from Liverpool. Into the penalty area. Newcastle are now. There's the shots. Newcastle equalise. 12 minutes to go. Liverpool stumbling in this title race. How is this happening? The, the performance against Fiorentina was class. Then the Brentford game, we go 2-0 up, throw that away, and that has seriously knocked the confidence of this Liverpool side. I have actually got no idea what's happened to us because it's not even like we're still creating chances. We aren't really creating chances. Here is Diaz. This could be one, though, right now. Luis Diaz has got us through. Have to find the finish here, and we do. 2-1 in the game. Liverpool back leading. We needed that goal. Wow. This. This is extraordinary. I, I don't know what has happened to us going forwards, but the creativity has not been there in this one. And it wasn't there for the entirety of the second half against Brentford. But the important thing is that we restored our lead immediately after Newcastle drew level. Please do not let them... Get another goal to make this 2-2. Bonsu, there's been a change in formation for Newcastle. I think they've gone ultra-attacking as well because you can see there's only two defenders back for them as they try to find an equaliser again. Bonsu on the left-hand side. Goal elsewhere. West Ham, Tottenham. That's a result in our favour, you know, because West Ham were in third and close behind us, but they're 3-1 down to Spurs, which is good for us. No idea what's going on with City, though. We'll have to wait and see. Chiuameni. Chance to play forwards. Holds onto the ball for the moment. Now finding the ball backwards. Fabinho. Chua many again. To my feet. We control. Playing Rafinha. Rafinha's giving it away. Into added time we go. Two minutes added on. Please do not let the chance come. Paulista. Jones. Fabinho. We are into the first of those two minutes. And this should be it. From St. James's Park. Liverpool look like they have won the game by two goals to one here. Jones finding the ball across. It was hard fought. It was difficult. But Liverpool have won the game when they've not played well. What have City done? So they did play on the same day as us. But it must have been a different time because I could not see their result during or after the game. So... Yeah, 1-0 against United means they stay top for the moment. Our goal difference, though, is far better than theirs. And Arsenal have now moved into third on 27 points. So they are the latest team to try and join this title race. Next up for us is West Ham. That'll be a tough game. They've got Brighton away at the Amex. Not an easy one either for City. Where are Brighton at the moment? They're 11th. And obviously we know how high-flying hammers are getting on. So we will have to try... And pick up the victory there. But judging by the performances in the two Premier League games today, we'll have to wait and see what kind of Liverpool turn up for those matches. I want to say a huge thank you for all of your support as always. As I said at the start of the video, 900 likes for another episode tomorrow. It's a difficult like target today, but I believe you legends will smash it as always. We'll have a quick look and see how we're getting on in our career so far. As you can see, 131 appearances, 112 goals, 
with 65 assists in there as well. Until next time, stay safe, everyone. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Look after each other, and I'll catch you all again next time. Adios.